Caminetti was going. It's skied to left. Deion Sanders at the wall, and Bagwell has his first major league home run. Jeff Bagwell has delivered, and the Astros lead it now, three to one. Last week, the fences will come in. And the 3-2 pitch to Bagwell. There go the runners. There's a high fly ball. A deep left field. Way back. Home run. That's a club record for Houston. For protection. Here's a high towering drive to deep left field. And this one is gone. Look at this upper deck. What a shot by Bagwell. And the stretch to Bagwell. A fly ball. Left field. Pretty well hit. It is. But Bags grabbed and then the step that he took to catch it put him right on the bag for the double play. That ball was really tattooed. Oh, to left center. And this is hit deep. Jeff Bagwell with a home run to make it one to nothing Astros. That's his 14th. There's a high drive left field. I said he was close to 70. He's on 70. Toledo, what a year for Bagwell. All-star credentials through and through. A new career high in homers, 21. Runners second and third, two down. Line down toward the right field corner. It'll go up again. Out of here. Out of here. Out of here. a bit. Could it be? Win at the wall. Three home runs in the game for Jeff Bagwell. What an unbelievable night for the Astros slugging first baseman. Three homers in his last three trips to the plate in this game. Now it's six runs batted in. They're not going to let him stay in that dugout. Yeah, there come on out. That a boy. What a performance. Runner goes to third. Here's Oliver's throw in the dirt. Bagwell steals it. He's a 30-30 man. The first ever for the Houston Astros and the first full-time first baseman in Major League history to hit 30 or more homers and steal 30 or more bases. He's been flirting with this for about five pitches. He finally got comfortable with the right jump. What a tremendous milestone. Looked like it. 3 2 pitch hit high in the air, deep left field. Back is Glenn Allen Hill looking up, and it's a three homer game oh. for Jeff Bagwell. His third of the day. He has six RBIs, and the Astros now lead 7 to 2. Bagwell rips one. Another one. Way into the Houston night over the tracks. Do not have a day off this week, neither do the Astros. High drive to left field. Bagwell watches it go, and this is number two of the game for him. This one further out toward left center over the 379 side for number 20 and number 400 in his career. 400 homers for Jeff Bagwell. Now, earlier we were talking about Craig Biggio and round milestone numbers and start thinking about the Hall of Fame. Obviously it's a fairly select group when you start talking about 400 home runs and a big ovation from the fans here in Cincinnati. Not to mention the boys in the dugout. They are standing and applauding Jeff Bagwell. And the 2-2 two -two to Bagwell. Swinging and drives it back into left field. Watch it, watch it. And what do you think? Grand slam. Grand salami. Bags had the luxury that you were already in front. Seven to two. And he, there are sometimes I think when you swing for home runs and the cuts he took, I think he figured I can bust it. Look for it to drive it that way. 
Well, he drives this one to right field. Very deep. Drew on the move at the track and the wall. And it is gone. A home run for Jeff Bagwell to right field. And it is one to nothing Houston. Bagwell looking yesterday to drive it to right. He doubled this time over the fence to get Houston going one to nothing. Well you've got to you've got to know Bagwell being around the game as much as he has. He gets this pitch the first time and he can't get to it. Well you know Hampton's going to go right back out there and try to go a little bit further. Bagwell guesses right and gets the pitch that he wants to hit. He smoked that day. His first career postseason home run. And how about that for a note. Bagwell hammers the first pitch. It'll fall in a base hit. Racing home is Innsburg and Bagwell delivers a 4-4 game in the ninth inning. The biggest base hit of Jeff Bagwell's Hall of Fame career. That pitch had hit me written all over. Just a fastball right down the middle. Bagwell taps it slowly. Hit Tatis coming a long way and safe at first. Hit number 2,000 for Jeff Bagwell in the same place where Craig Biggio got his 2,000 two years ago on an infield hit. Uh, need to throw that ball out of play. A nice reception by the fans here in Montreal for that milestone hit for Baggy. Certain amount of irony that Jeff has done so much damage with the long ball over his career gets number 2,000 on an infield single. Wow, how about that? Standing go. Isn't that something? Classy move by these fans. I guess that's why Jeff Bagwell has been so good over his career too because he's got the power game but he's just an all around player.